Hi guys, it's Sophie here, and today I have Ruby's new squeaky toy from last night we got it for her, and I am about to go outside with Ruby, and Mom's going to video me and Ruby because um, I want to bring you guys along. Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. <laughs> I like saying that, I don't know, it's just super catchy. Anyway, I'm about ready to shoot our uh, updated house tour. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, hopefully that'll be up tonight for you guys to watch, or hopefully it's already up and you guys can watch it. If not, it'll be coming up really soon, but Sophie has been outside running with Ruby all morning and she wants me to show you guys, so let's go follow them. Ruby's really excited to go outside. Let's go release the hound! <laughs> Life. Our horses are so attentive. Literally, Stella heard us. I don't know if you guys can see her. She hears us, and then that little neck of hers just gets twisted around until she can see us. See her? She's like, They're my people. What's going to happen today? Your face in the crowd. I never thought that I would see you tonight. We lock eyes, and you smile. Every single memory comes back to life. Okay, you can get her now. There's some herd dynamics happening. Go ahead, try again. Did you see the boss of the herd move? <laughs> Storm didn't even finish. Storm, are you getting high in the high in the field? Do not drag me. Do not drag me. Hurry up, run. Your lips press against mine after a night out. You got drunk and ended up at your place. From the moment that I saw you, I knew that it was the bet that you felt the same. I never want a mayor field. No, that's okay. Look at them all. Yeah. They're all galloping. I know. It's okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Sometimes they can get Go. a little too crazy. Yeah. Wow, her belly is looking huge. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. Gonna walk the whole arena, right? Yeah, she's gonna walk the whole arena. What 
We have sassy storm today? Yeah. yeah. That's all right. He just, ooh, no swish. <laughs> He's got some tude today. He does not act like a mare. No. Keep going, Soph, you're good. All the way to the end. Like, I don't care, I don't care that she gets upset and worried and stressed and scared as long as she still does it. Yep. Oh, she wants to follow Gabby. Gabby's probably not the smartest horse to follow right now because Storm is feeling fresh. You're better off to do it on your own right now, kiddo. Direction. Close your outside leg, bring him off the wall. Thumbs on top. Leg, left leg, left leg, more left leg. Yep, shove him over. There we go, we made the corner. You can be all finicky about the spur all you want, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me all. So, could you talk to me about the reins? So, see how she has them like skipping ropes? Yes. And she does it with Stella. Ah, she can't with Stella. Right. Is there is there a reason that they have to be like that, just so I can understand? Uh, because when she picks up contact in his mouth, he shuts his front end down. What if she doesn't use contact? What if she just her holds... Her move around too much for her not to have contact. Okay. Like, see, her reins are not really skipping ropes there? Yeah. He also won't stretch down and lengthen across his top line if she doesn't give him the rein. Okay. So until she's balanced enough that her hands stay a little bit more still, what she's getting yeah. stronger with her so legs So basically, now. right. So basically, you're you're basically taking her back to the beginning and doing all the light seat to strengthen her legs because she needs to do that. You're building her for the base up. So if she doesn't have a base, she can't have hands. She can't have a hip. That's right. So it's just all a process. And yeah. okay. And so like a brand new beginner, she's not having any contact Correct. and Storm is safe. Look how happy he is. Yeah, he is safe. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for explaining that to me because I get a lot of comments that people don't understand and I never know the exact words to explain. Oh, that's not bad. The only time he ever flicks his tail or rings his head is when he, she uses a spur and that's just attitude. Yeah. It's not pain. It's yeah. not anger. It's not aggression. It's attitude. Yeah. And he had it before. I've had he, this conversation with his previous Yes. Owner. So yes. you put the spur on, he goes, I don't want it. There's a video so you on. You put the spur on a few more times and he goes, oh, fine. fine. Yeah, she told me that he did that with her too. And there, um, another previous owner has a video on YouTube where she did a dressage test and she had spurs. And let me tell you, he was doing little bucks and attitude the whole time. So yep. it's not something new and not something just. No, it's him. Yeah. And once you get through that, see, and the, the thing is too, Scappy didn't wear spurs for a long time because yeah. her confidence didn't handle this. Right? Yeah. So now her oh, confidence he's... can handle this so she can ride it. Good job. That's all right. Let him canter half a lap and then bring him back to a trot. Do you think he has so much energy he's just got to get it out? Yeah. Good. And then come back to a trot. Tighten your knee, shoulder back. Engage his hindquarters. Yeah. Tighten your rein. Bring him back to that trot. 
And go. Go with it. Let him have it. Yep. Good boy. Yeah, we haven't been riding him as much because Laura is really scared. It's fine. And Laura hasn't been that mobile, so no, that's it's fine. just been a process. Look at that reach. Good boy. You also have to remember, this is a horse that did how many years of Western Pleasure work yeah. where there is no contact on None the None at all. Yeah. Okay, the reins are literally loops to the bit. Yeah. So he is used to having that big droop to the bit and softening and rounding himself up from the rider's leg. So he doesn't necessarily need you to hold his face to engage his hind end. His big thing is, because she didn't wear spurs for so long, because she couldn't handle the attitude, mm -hmm. we got rid of them, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, That's okay, exactly what happened. Wear them, wear them, can't wear them. Yeah. So he's learned that if I have attitude, she doesn't like it, and she'll get off me or she'll stop using the spurs. Yeah, that's now what happened. Not. Yeah. So now it's going to take probably weeks yeah, she to is... push him through this. I'm wearing spurs. You're going to deal with it. And then once he deals, he'll start to round himself up yeah. from his rib cage. Yeah, and his, like that. Yeah, and his old owner said the exact same thing. You don't need to. Most horses, when you train them, and Western horses are the same, you have contact on the rein. You engage the hind leg from your legs and round them up. Once they get balanced, they self-carry, and they learn that you just bump a rein up and close your heel, and they round up their spine. Just kind of would like to walk around and be lazy old fart. Yeah. And not engage himself and use himself. Yeah, it's true. When you belong to an 11-year-old, you sometimes like get away with things that... And it unintentionally get away with them yeah. too, right? Yeah. But today, he definitely has a lot of energy. And the same with the ear bonnet. Remember how many times he bucked and, and threw fits with that ear bonnet? I don't think it was the ear bonnet. Oh no, it, had, it was the ear bonnet. There were times she never rode him with spurs and it was just the ear bonnet. That one doesn't flop. Anything flopping in his face. But she's trying to get him used All right, to it. give him a little walk. That horse will follow Sophie anywhere. Oh, now she stopped. <laughs> That's a lot of work, man. I'm lazy. Have you a mammy? As long as Sophie right, set, walk, goes right, right beside her, she'll follow her. <laughs> now go away from us until she'll follow you away from us. There you go. Yeah, she loves Sophie. King Trot! Because... <laughs> <laughs> Did Storm hear that and say, yeah, okay, let's just go? She it out on his own. She hadn't even gathered her reins. <laughs> He's just like, I got this. Yeah, he's getting to be like blue. Like he does here. I know what all no of this means. Yeah, I know what it means. It's to the point, as soon as you raise your voice, he's like, faster. Oh my God, I'll never forget that ride. <laughs> the broad time I rode him. <laughs> I screamed through the whole ride and his ears were back the whole time and he was like, just shut up and sit back and I'll do it. Yeah, this is not your job. She told me to can her, just yeah. sit there. Like I just sat there and he, he did the whole thing. And then when it was time to cool him out, <laughs> he literally cooled himself out. Like yeah. he just, oh my gosh, he is such a perfect. Canter! Woohoo! <laughs> Stand up tall, push those hips forward. Thumbs on top. If he's guiding you towards the rail, I want you to put your outside leg on and your outside rein on his neck. Push him off the rail. Yep. Push him off the rail. Start turning. There you go. Good job. Well done. Oh, you feisty little bugger. <laughs> I love when they're like that. I don't. She's building up. She just wants to she go. She cantered last time. I know, but and we just cantered poles. We did poles and we did little half X's. I mean, they left you a beautiful jump. So <laughs> I'm totally joking. Totally joking. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> she's uh, she's slowly building up tall, please I want you to put your head back on straight there you got a little bit of a right curve so it's because she's avoiding the wall with her foot I know but she leans her head <laughs> like she she said she rides like this <laughs> you gotta put a heavy left earring on there <laughs> not that heavy <laughs> there you go Good! Straight! 
lost our energy. I'd like you to find somewhere to come across the diagonal. We're going to do a simple lead change. So in the middle of the arena, you're going to break for two steps, no more than two, and back into the canter in the other lead. Breathe, sit, break to a trot, and canter. Yes, that was a beautiful simple lead change. A boy. Come on. Go for a little gallop. There we go. That's better. Love it. Circle. Keep your head on straight. Remember, we can turn our neck. We don't want to lean our ears. Does that make sense? That's better, yeah. Outside leg, push them around. And working trot. Tighten your thighs and your knees. Half halt and go. Let them be. Let them take that trot around the ring. Nice, big, bouncy trot. That's it. across the diagonal with a simple lead change. It's a nice space here between the center jump and the first cross rail. Yep, 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 good. Breathe out, sink back, tighten your thighs, elbows back, squeeze your reins, make him trot. Make him trot and canter, good job. He's gotta respect you a little bit more and, uh, and listen when you ask. We want him to give that connection, that contact. We want him to listen, we want him to think, we want him to respect when you ask him to do something that he's going to do it. It's not his decisions, it's yours. I know hard life working. Trot, breathe out, squeeze your reins, bring your elbows back. Get strong for a second and go, let him go. Yeah, work that trot. <laughs> I like it! Okay. Love that trot!